Job chapter 38 Then Jehovah answered Job out of the whirlwind, and said, Who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee, and declare thou unto me. Where wast thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare, if thou hast understanding. Who determined the measures thereof, if thou knowest? Or who stretched the line upon it? Whereupon were the foundations thereof fastened? Or who laid the cornerstone thereof, when the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy? Or who shut up the sea with doors, when it brake forth, as if it had issued out of the womb, when I made clouds the garment thereof, and thick darkness a swaddling band for it, and marked out for it my bound, and set bars and doors, and said, Hitherto shalt thou come, but no further, and here shall thy proud waves be stayed? Hast thou commanded the morning since thy days began, and caused the dayspring to know its place, that it might take hold of the ends of the earth, and the wicked be shaken out of it? It is changed as clay under the seal, and all things stand forth as a garment, and from the wicked their light is withholden, and the high arm is broken. Hast thou entered into the springs of the sea? Or hast thou walked in the recesses of the deep? Have the gates of death been revealed unto thee? Or hast thou seen the gates of the shadow of death? Hast thou comprehended the earth in its breadth? Declare, if thou knowest it all. Where is the way to the dwelling of light? And as for darkness, where is the place thereof, that thou shouldest take it to the bound thereof, and that thou shouldest discern the paths to the house thereof? Doubtless, thou knowest, for thou wast then born, and the number of thy days is great. Hast thou entered the treasuries of the snow, or hast thou seen the treasures of the hail, which I have reserved against the time of trouble, against the day of battle and war? By what way is the light parted, or the east wind scattered upon the earth? Who hath cleft a channel for the water flood, or the way for the lightning of the thunder, to cause it to rain on a land where no man is, on the wilderness, wherein there is no man, to satisfy the waste and desolate ground, and to cause the tender grass to spring forth? Hath the rain a father? Or who hath begotten the drops of dew? Out of whose womb came the ice? And the hoary frost of heaven, who hath gendered it? The waters hide themselves and become like stone, and the face of the deep is frozen. Canst thou bind the cluster of the Pleiades, or loose the bands of Orion? Canst thou lead forth the Mazaroth in their season? Or canst thou guide the bear with her train? Knowest thou the ordinances of the heavens? Canst thou establish the dominion thereof in the earth? Canst thou lift up thy voice to the clouds, that abundance of waters may cover thee? Canst thou send forth lightnings, that they may go, and say unto thee, Here we are? Who hath put wisdom in the inward parts? Or who hath given understanding to the mind? Who can number the clouds by wisdom? Or who can pour out the bottles of heaven, when the dust runneth into a mass, and the clods cleave fast together? Canst thou hunt the prey for the lioness, or satisfy the appetite of the young lions, when they couch in their dens, and abide in the covert to lie in wait? Who provideth for the raven his prey, when his young ones cry unto God, and wander for lack of food? Job chapter 39 Knowest thou the time when the wild goats of the rock bring forth? Or canst thou mark when the hinds do calve? Canst thou number the months that they fulfill? Or knowest thou the time when they bring forth? They bow themselves, they bring forth their young, they cast out their pains. Their young ones become strong, they grow up in the open field, they go forth, and return not again. Who hath sent out the wild ass free? Or who hath loosed the bonds of the swift ass? whose home I have made the wilderness, and the salt land is dwelling place? He scorneth the tumult of the city, neither heareth he the shoutings of the driver. The range of the mountains is his pasture, and he searcheth after every green thing. Will the wild ox be content to serve thee? Or will he abide by thy crib? Canst thou bind the wild ox with his band in the furrow? Or will he harrow the valleys after thee? Wilt thou trust him, because his strength is great? Or wilt thou leave to him thy labor? Wilt thou confide in him, that he will bring home thy seed, and gather the grain of thy threshing floor? The wings of the ostrich wave proudly, but are they the pinions and plumage of love? For she leaveth her eggs on the earth, and warmeth them in the dust, and forgetteth that the foot may crush them, 
or that the wild beast may trample them. She dealeth hardly with her young ones, as if they were not hers, though her labor be in vain, she is without fear, because God hath deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. What time she lifteth up herself on high, she scorneth the horse and his rider. Hast thou given the horse his might? Hast thou clothed his neck with the quivering mane? Hast thou made him to leap as a locust? The glory of his snorting is terrible. He poth in the valley, and rejoiceth in his strength, he goeth out to meet the armed men. He mocketh at fear, and is not dismayed, neither turneth he back from the sword. The quiver rattleth against him, the flashing spear and the javelin. He swalloweth the ground with fierceness and rage, neither believeth he that it is the voice of the trumpet. As oft as the trumpet soundeth he saith, Aha! And he smelleth the battle afar off, the thunder of the captains, and the shouting. Is it by thy wisdom that the hawk soareth, and stretcheth her wings toward the south? Is it at thy command that the eagle mounteth up, and maketh her nest on high? On the cliff she dwelleth, and maketh her home, upon the point of the cliff, and the stronghold. From thence she spieth out the prey, her eyes behold it afar off. Her young ones also suck up blood, and where the slain are, there is she.